Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about DC Comics, the uh, fallout from the DC Comics implosion, and some of the hot takes around the internet talking about what's going on. Uh, Jim Lee trying to do some damage control, so apparently he's not fired, and Rob Liefeld commenting on former Image Comics stablemate Jim Lee, saying that he believes DC Comics is being completely dismantled piece by piece and that this is just damage control. If you're new to the channel, please give us a sub for more pop culture, news, views, and rants and go to clownfishtv.com, the brand new website. If you're looking for more content, if you're looking to be able to get notifications that maybe YouTube is not giving you notifications, there is a bell you can ring on the website that will let you know whenever we post a new video and you can go over there and watch all of our content from uh, all of our channels. We have like four channels now. Most of you probably don't know that. All right, so Rob Liefeld put this out earlier today. He said, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know I have said that DC is dismantling. Shortly, piece by piece, the info I receive is straight from the inside. More smoke and mirrors here. So what he's talking about is Jim Lee uh, doing damage control. Jim Lee is like, we're still in the business of publishing comics. You know, DC Comics on Monday, I believe it was Monday, they they announced that they were laying off a, a large portion of editorial, and it looks like they are cutting the line back to like, you know, 75%. I mean, this is insane. This is this is effectively the end of DC Comics as a, a monthly comic book publisher. It seems like they're going to focus more on digital comics and on graphic novels. And this could just be, you know, the first of many phases to phase DC Comics out. Uh, who knows? Now, that doesn't mean there won't be Batman and Superman comics and Wonder Woman comics. It just means that DC, as the publishing entity it has been for 80-some years, is no longer going to exist in that same form. And that's because of AT&T and Warner Media. When AT&T bought Warner Media, which owns DC Comics, it came with a lot of debt. They already had debt. They went into debt to buy Warner, and now they have to get rid of debt. I think it's like $150, $160 billion. And the new CEO of Warner came in and immediately started, started uh, cutting people loose. They cut a bunch of people loose at DC Comics. They're reportedly shopping around uh, Crunchyroll. They're probably going to sell off Crunchyroll if they can. If not, what I've heard is they're considering just rolling Crunchyroll into HBO Max. And that's what this is all about at the end of the day is HBO Max. Uh, all Warner Media cares about right now is HBO Max producing content for HBO Max. And the comic books are basically just ancillary merchandise for for the movies and HBO Max shows and whatever else they're working on. So they're not, not important. And we knew this day was going to come. Everybody's pretending to be shocked. They're pretending to be shocked that Warner Media is is doing this, that they're gutting DC Comics. Um, the writing has been on the wall for months, if not years. And uh, there have been people who have connections, who have insiders at DC Comics, like Rob Liefeld, like Ethan Van Skyver, who have been saying this was probably going to happen. Um, on our end, we had insiders at Warner Media, not at DC Comics, but Warner Media saying they were going to cut back on everything they possibly could cut back on, and there was going to be a lot of consolidation. Now, I actually was surprised that DC Comics got the axe as quickly as it did. I thought it'd be one of the last things that they went for. Um, we've been hearing Rooster Teeth. We've been hearing Crunchyroll. We've been hearing you know, Rooster Teeth and Cartoon Network getting smushed together. And we're seeing people leave from Rooster Teeth now, too. I mean, it's not good. If you're at Warner Media, any division of Warner Media at this point, your job is not safe. So Jim Lee on the company's future coming from The Hollywood Reporter. And uh, he had this lengthy interview. I'm going to go to the Comics Beat version of it. They do a better job of condensing all of this down. DC Comics shrinks monthly line as Jim Lee addresses concerns. They're talking about how DC Comics is ending a number of their monthly titles, including Young Justice, Teen Titans, Constantine, Hawkman, Suicide Squad, I think Blue Beetle, some other ones. The end of these series became known Friday and the publisher's November solicits, where preview info for those books was stamped with the dreaded final issue. This reduction in DC's monthly comics line comes amid news that DC was undergoing layoffs. 
Again, they called it a bloodbath. That was the employees calling it a bloodbath. I don't think it's hyperbole. We're talking massive, massive editorial cuts. Now, I do understand that a lot of those people are going to stay on until December, I think. As anxiety rose online about the dual reductions, DC Comics publisher Jim Lee spoke with a Hollywood reporter in a conversation Friday, seemingly aimed at quelling concerns. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Lee issued an assurance via The Hollywood Reporter that we're still in the business of publishing comics. Uh, Lee then went on to say that in the wake of the layoffs, the next few months would see DC reorganizing as well as reducing its line. It feels as if we've been here before. It's because we have with the, the previous layoffs and line-wide reductions in early 2019. So this is what Jim Lee was saying. We're cutting our line in the name of higher quality. Comics are still central to the DC brand. Everyone involved with the company is behind that. It's all very familiar. No, this is a little bit different, I think. This is Warner Brothers, Warner Media basically saying, we don't give a shit about comic books. We really don't. And uh, this, is where, this is how important comics are. Uh, to Warner Media. Lee also discussed the experienced editors who are staying with the company, including Marie Javins and Michelle Wells, talking about how they're trying to focus on YA publishing and digital comics. So, I mean, look, this is going to deal a huge blow, I think, to comic shops. This is going to deal a huge blow to superhero fans, fans of uh, Cape Comics. Um, but, you know, the numbers aren't there. They haven't been there in a while. And even if the numbers were there, I don't think those numbers are high enough to justify the amount of money that Warner was sinking into DC Comics as a comic book publisher. And we knew it was coming. When Dan DiDio got gone, we knew this was coming. Another noteworthy bit in Lee's interview was there, there was no pencils down notice. This would indicate the titles known to be ending as of today were always going to end, which is also in line with reporting on the beat that uh, there was a plan that called for a new status quo for all monthly titles this fall. That would be the 5G, which I think they, they supposedly canceled. Connecting a few dots, the book's ending now seems likely to have been part of that, though it remains to be seen if they'll ever be replaced. I don't think they will. I think they were going to end the comics um, where they were going to end them, and then they were going to roll into 5G, and now that's probably not going to happen. Other news addressed by Jim Lee is that some aspects of the company's streaming service, DC Universe, including all of their original content, would be merging with HBO Max, while other elements would be preserved in a new way that has not been announced yet, probably YouTube. Uh, meanwhile, Jim Lee said the company's collectibles line, DC Direct, will also change, moving to a higher price point that will accompany a new licensing model. Merging with HBO Max. Again, we've been hearing for about a year, year and a half that that was a possibility for Crunchyroll, but now it looks like Warner might just sell Crunchyroll off. But at the end of the day, they don't need 100 different uh, streaming sites. When asked what to expect from DC Comics in two years' time, Jim Lee said essentially there would be more focus on digital content. Yeah, because you don't have to pay to print it and distribute it. While it's nice to hear from Jim Lee, it's perhaps still easy to be pessimistic. No shit. Conjuring up doom scenarios in which an 80-year-old publishing tradition is gutted and cast aside in favor of a low overhead minimalistic approach to the medium that more blatantly relies on Batman's invincible popularity while doing the bare minimum to maintain the IP. Welcome to 2020. This is exactly how important comic books are to Hollywood, comics, comic books are to to media at, at large. They really don't mean a lot, and I think it's going to be the same thing with Disney. I think Disney is going to do this too. In fact, I'm surprised Disney has waited this long because my understanding a couple of years ago was that there was a contingent of people within Disney that wanted to outsource all of Marvel comics to other publishers so they could get rid of all those salaries and have that uh, licensee pay Marvel to produce superhero books because they don't really they don't really bring the boom. It's not a giant leap to wonder if DC's corporate owners are also following some kind of playbook for slowly gutting legacy print media, pushing many of the highest paid folks out the door, many never to be replaced, and reducing physical product in the name of less costly digital replacements. Yes. Yes, you're finally catching on to everything YouTube has been saying for years. Uh, this has been the case with other aging periodicals like newspapers and magazines. So yeah, from a certain angle, it's a bummer. 
especially when you start thinking about how any reduction in resources and investments from such a large company in a space as small as comics will likely have a ripple effect. Yeah, the ripple effect is going to be that the comic book industry is going to shrink. The direct market is going to die. You can't have DC go down. DC be like, yeah, we're just doing digital and graphic novels and that's it. We're not doing monthlies anymore. That's it for comic shops. You know, that that's it. Because unless, well, I mean, if they get into other publishers, they get into selling back issues, they get into selling other product, they'll be fine. But there's so many shops that still depend on getting those new Marvel and DC books every month. And DC has been, you know, the, the biggest sellers lately. In the last couple of years, it seems like DC has been the biggest seller. And, and that's probably going to be gone or, or greatly reduced. So this is going to absolutely have a ripple effect. And then what's going to happen is that the direct market implodes. Not only do the comic shops go out of business or a lot of them go out of business, but a lot of smaller publishers will go out of business, too because they're not going to be able to fill the void because they're not producing content that has the mainstream appeal of, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, a lot of these smaller publishers that are already only shipping a couple thousand books or whatever, they're going to fold too. You know, it's, 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 it, this is way worse than people are letting on. And what's going to happen is Disney is going to take a look at this and they're going to be like, yeah, this is a pretty good idea. Why don't we do this sooner? Because I know they were playing around with it. That Why do you think they, they jobbed out the Spider-Man books and the Captain America books to IDW like they did? They were testing the waters. Uh, and I think with Disney hurting financially like they are, they absolutely will do something similar. Why bother? If your competitor is, is doing something like this, uh, they're, they're looking to get out. Why bother? So now DC, this is where DC's at. They're going to have an esports person come in and, and run the company. Th this makes absolutely no sense, you know, because they're they're basically just going to strip mine the IP. DC as a monthly comic book publisher, regardless of what Jim Lee says, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. The direct market is coming to an end. Comics will live on. I mean, I have no doubt that, you know, graphic novels will live on, manga is going to live on, indies are going to live on, of course, you know, Scholastic and all that stuff uh, will live on. But monthly comics, picking them up at a comic book shop, uh, that direct market, that's that's going to end. I think Rob Liefeld's right. I think that they are dismantling DC piece by piece in that two-year plan. Isn't a two-year plan to uh, do what's best for the comic book industry? It's basically phasing out the direct market phasing out comic books uh so it is what it is guys progress right progress gonna wrap this one up please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll talk later hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.